We'll use the Lewis structure here to determine the molecular geometry for N2H4. Let's focus on the nitrogen on the right of the Lewis structure. So you can see that we have two hydrogens attached to that nitrogen, and then we have on the other side the nitrogen. On top we have this lone pair of electrons, and that's going to be important in determining the molecular geometry for N2H4. If you imagine the two hydrogens, the nitrogen, and that lone pair of electrons spreading out to be as far away from each other as they possibly can while still being bonded, you'll end up with the pyramidal molecular geometry with respect to this nitrogen here on the right. That's going to look like this. Here we have the nitrogens in blue and the hydrogens are in white. And don't forget the lone pair of electrons that's on each nitrogen. You can see that each of the nitrogens kind of looks like a pyramid, and we call that a pyramidal molecular geometry. You can also use the AXN notation to determine the molecular geometry for N2H4. A, that's the nitrogen we're interested in. X, that's the number of atoms attached. We have the two hydrogens and the one nitrogen, so that's going to be a three. And N, that's the lone pair electrons. So we have one pair, so we're going to put a one here for the N. You could have memorized that AX3N is a pyramidal molecular geometry, or if you had it available, you could look it up on a table. So as we go down our table, we have AX2, AX3, all the way to AX6. We have AX2N, AX2N2, and then there it is, AX3N. It's trigonal, pyramidal, and it has a bond angle of 109.5. If we go back to our three-dimensional representation of the N2H4 molecule, the bond angles we're talking about, we have right here, we have a bond angle right here, we have one between this lone pair and here, and then on the other side. So that's about 109.5 for the AX3N, this trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. That's the molecular geometry for N2H4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.